What's good with you, fam? Fam, welcome to Big Faces Worldwide, where we talking nothing but this boxing. Hey, check it out, man. Today I want to talk a little bit about the WBO junior welterweight champion, Maurice Mighty Mo Hooker. Now, Mighty Mo has been on the roll ever since traveling across the pond and uh, winning that title against Terry Flanagan uh, via split decision. Then he was in a brutal, and I mean brutal, back and forth matchup with um, Alex Salcedo, man, where he knocked Salcedo out in the seventh round. And um, just recently, a couple weeks ago, he traveled to Verona, New York, um, where, he, where he won a unanimous decision over Miguel Lespierre. Now, I was at that fight, and I was able to catch up with Maurice at the post-fight press conference. And, um, you know, I had some questions to ask him, man, and I specifically asked him about possibly fighting the WBC junior welterweight champion, Jose Ramirez, man. Um, and also, take a listen to what he had to say about possibly fighting Mikey Garcia. Take a listen. Well, Reese, I heard you uh, mention the WBC. Is uh, Jose Ramirez something, of a fight that you'll look forward to in the future? Yes, why not? I mean, bring it to the zone, you know. I'm open for anybody with a belt or anybody out there who, uh, who's good and got a good man. You know, I want anybody. You know, I want the best out there. You know, let's do it on the zone. I love the Jose Ramirez fight. His, his manager is constantly putting it out there to make that fight. We'd love to do that. Obviously, they might want to do that in Fresno. I mean, that'd be a problem for Maurice as well. But we'd love to do that in Dallas. I think it's a wonderful fight. Give me my course here too. Come on, man. Hey, I'll find anywhere, man. Too much anybody with the best out there, anywhere. Just let's, let's do it. It's a good fight for Dallas. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we'll do that. Yeah, do that in July. You be Mikey Garcia. Yeah. <laughs> do that one. Okay. Done. Why not? Tommy made some real money, right? Some guaranteed money. There's some pay per view of mine. Or mine not happen. Man, let me tell you something, man. Mighty Mo is the real deal. I like this kid's style. I like the way this kid fights. I like his heart. You understand what I'm saying? I like the way he moves, man. Now, you know, picture a fight with uh, Jose Ramirez versus Mighty Mo. I think it makes for a really good fight. I think it's a, a fight that they should make real soon, man. It's a unification matchup, man. Um, you know, it's a fight where it can go either way, 50-50 fight, man. Um, but, but I would love to see it, man. I think uh, Maurice Hooker has gotten better and better as, as, he, as he's fought in better competition, man. Um, you learn from the better competition. Your, your, your skills, you know, get, get shined up and polished as you fight better competition, man. And it's evident in the way that, you know what I'm saying, he's displaying his skills, man. Against that fight with um, Les Pierre a couple, couple weeks ago, we know he had trouble making weight, man. Um, you know what I'm saying? He said it was his fault. You know what I mean? He talked about, you know, just miscalculating. He was up in the hotel room watching TV, bull crapping around, man. And he and he thought he had more time. Well, he didn't. You understand what I'm saying? But uh, you could see that the weight affected him a little bit later on in the fight. Um, he wasn't as sharp. His punches wasn't, didn't have that snap on him like they had at the beginning of the fight. But, um, you know, he was still able to get the unanimous decision. Um, he said at the post-fight press conference that, you know, he can make 140 just fine and he's comfortable at the weight and he will remain at the weight, man. But he's talking about Mikey Garcia, uh, his promoter, Eddie Hearn. He said he would love to do that fight. He said it would be a big pay-per-view down there in Dallas, man, where Maurice is from. I would love to see that fight, man. Maurice Hooker is 5'11". You understand what I'm saying? I think Earl Spence is about 5'9", five, 5'9 nine, five, nine and a half, something like that. And Mikey Garcia was not able to get inside of uh, Earl Spence's jab. You know what I mean? So Maurice Hooker, you know what I mean? I believe he got a, a, a reach, you know, a couple inches longer than uh, Earl Spence. I believe that, um, you know, Mikey Garcia will have problems getting inside of his jab also, man. Maurice Hooker is the real deal, man. Mikey Garcia, Maurice Hooker, I would love to see that fight too. Um, although I do um, would favor Mikey Garcia a little bit in that fight just because of his experience and the level of competition that he's fighting, man. Despite the loss to Earl Spence, man, Mikey Garcia still remains one of the best fighters in the world, man. I know his uh, 
you know, his pride is a little hurt right now. We have not seen him. We have not heard from him. Um, he, have, he He's taking his first defeat, man, his first loss, which would be hard on anybody, especially a guy with that much confidence as Mikey Garcia walks around with so much pride, man, and, you know, really um, takes his career seriously, man. He really thought he, go, he was going to go in there and defeat Earl Spence. He, he really thought that he could do it. Um, he went against everybody's wishes in his camp, you know, his brother, his father, his friends, you know what I'm saying? Everybody told him not to take that fight, but Mikey Garcia, he wanted to challenge himself, and he took the fight just for that reason, because no one thought he could win, man. Um, but he got dominated through that fight, man, but he showed extreme heart, man, showed extreme heart, and personally, I don't think he has nothing to hang his head about, man. I would love to see Mikey Garcia versus Maurice Hooker, man, down in Dallas. I think that would be a very good fight, man, uh, especially, you know, seeing the trouble that Mikey Garcia had with, um, you know, Earl Spencer's jab and Maurice Hooker being a very big guy for the junior welterweight division, man, with a very long reach. I think it would be very interesting how things play out, man. But, um, you know, hopefully we could get my Maurice Hooker versus uh, Mikey Garcia or Maurice Hooker versus um, Jose Ramirez sometime this year. You know, it's only April, fam. We got a lot of time left, man. A lot of fights to be made. But uh, listen, that's all I got for now, man. I appreciate y'all tuning in to Big Faces Worldwide. If you're yet to subscribe to the channel, don't leave out of here without hitting that subscribe button. But in the meantime and in between time, stay blessed and keep on supporting this support that we love called boxing. Peace. I'll holler back. Take y'all away.